Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Mr. Lemur33 here. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your USB microphone sound like an XLR microphone. Hopefully you guys all enjoy this tutorial and learn something new today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. In this tutorial, you guys are gonna be able to make your mic go from this to this. So the first step to getting your mic sounding better is you're gonna go open whatever streaming software you use, Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, then go down to Audio Mixer, and then go to your mic settings, then go up to Filters. So after you guys are here on a blank audio filters list, what you're gonna wanna do to add audio filters is you're gonna wanna go down to the plus sign, click on it, and then to add your first filter, we're gonna go ahead and add noise suppression. You can rename it if you would like. The noise suppression filter is a filter that helps eliminate all background noises you may have happening, including fans or maybe people. Um, I recommend testing these in OBS and start recording and see which one fits you best. If you move it higher, it will suppress more noise, or if you move it lower, it will not suppress as much noise. I have mine sitting at negative 20 decibels. So after we finished adding our noise suppression, you're going to go down to the plus sign and then you're going to click noise gate. You can rename it however you would like or you can keep it as noise gate. The noise gate filter is a filter that makes sure no sound or no signal gets through your mic when you are not speaking. This is very helpful and a little similar to noise suppression because it makes sure when you are not speaking that your mic is completely silent. Feel free to play around with the closed threshold and open threshold settings by moving the bar up and down. Just try to make sure that when you are talking, the bar goes up in the green slash yellow area and when you are not talking, it goes completely silent. My settings that I have on the closed threshold and open threshold are the same as the default, so negative 32 decibels and open threshold negative 26 decibels and then down here the attack time. Um, I keep mine as the default of 25 milliseconds the whole time, the default of 200 milliseconds, and lastly the release time, the default of 150 milliseconds. If you are having problems with that your microphone is not going silent when you are not speaking, you can increase your close threshold until it does go silent. Also, if you are having problems with your mic and it is not picking up your voice when you are talking, you can decrease your open threshold until it does pick up your voice. The next setting that we are going to add is we are going to be adding a compressor. All you're going to have to do is go down to the plus, click compressor. Again, you can rename it if you would like, you don't have to, and press OK. So what a compressor does, it is a setting that will make your voice and make your mic quieter when you are louder. So if you are raging or if you're in a really exciting point in your game and you start yelling into your mic and making really loud noises into it, the compressor filter will make it quieter so the audience that is watching will not have to hear it at such a high volume. The settings for this are totally dependent to how you talk into your microphone or what your voice sounds like, but my settings are I have my ratio at 10 to 0 to 1. My threshold is at negative 18 decibels. My attack is at 6 milliseconds. My release is at 60 milliseconds. And my output gain is at 0 decibels. And then I do not have a sidechain slash ducking source. After you are done adjusting your compressor filters, our last filter and our fourth filter that we are going to add um, is the limiter filter. So to add this, all you have to go to plus, go down to limiter. Lastly, rename it however you would like. You can keep it as it is, or you can change it and press OK. The limiter filter is used to prevent an audio signal from peaking above zero decibels, which can cause clipping and distortion. For the limiter filter settings, um, I have mine on the default settings, so I have my threshold at negative six decibels, and for my release, I have it at 60 milliseconds. Again, play around with it and fiddle with it until you like what you hear and i have mine at the default setting so you can just keep it how it is 
And that was our last step of how to make your USB mic sound like an XLR mic. After you are done adding all these filters and you like what you hear, you can go ahead and close it and you are now done. Thank you guys all so much for watching and giving me your time today. Hopefully you guys all learned how to turn your USB microphone into an XLR mic. If you have any questions or problems with this, feel free to drop a comment below. I will be responding and looking at every single comment in the comment section. You can also message me on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch will all be in the description below. I do stream pretty frequently on Twitch. So if you would like to come um, to one of my streams, make sure to turn on notifications. You can talk to me live there and I would love to talk to you while you're in chat. Have an amazing rest of your guys' day. I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.